What's going on, you guys? It's your boy Jemo coming back at it again with another episode of Let's Get Our Games Back Up and Running Without Any Delays. And with that being said, I truly appreciate everyone for the likes, comment, and support. And let's make this a quick, short, simple video. Script Hook B, as we all know, has another update that came, and we have a fix for it. So we're going to go ahead and download that new Script Hook B, and that's released today, December 15th, 2023. Uh, version 1.0.3095 so that's the one that we're going to download and of course after we download that we're going to download another very important file and that's our game config file we're going to have a big shout out to f7yo they always get us updated with the best game config that'll get our games back up and running with our mods in it so this current version is going to be version 32 if you haven't gotten the version 32 make sure you hit that download button as well so we can have those two files downloaded all right, you guys, so on the left-hand side of the screen, we have our Grand Theft Auto 5 main directory folder. On the right-hand side of the screen, we have our script hook V download and then also our game config version 32 download. So in our script hook V folder, we're going to open up the bin file. And the two main files that we're going to drag over will be the denput 8 and our script hook V. Again, the denput 8 and the script hook V from our bin file in the script hook folder are going to be dragged into our main Grand Theft Auto 5 directory. Now, I already have these files updated, so I'm not going to do it again. But for the main thing, if it does pop up saying that these two files are in the same place, then you're going to want to replace the files in the destination. After doing so, again, you're going to make sure those two files are updated in the main Grand Theft Auto 5 directory. And then we're going to open up our update folder. So this is a very important step that a lot of people miss on these different updates. So we're going to open up that update folder and then we're going to drag our update to that RPF file onto our desktop or somewhere where you can access the file easily. The desktop for me was the easiest place. I'm not going to replace the file since it's already there. And we'll save that for a little bit later down the line because that's going to be needed as well. Now, after that, we want to also save our game config. So version 32. Two, we're going to save this on to our desktop as well so this way again we can access that pretty easily later on when we need it in open iv all right so now we got our open iv up you guys we're going to hit that edit mode turn our edit mode on yes we do we want to make some changes so we're going to open up our mods folder go to our update folder and now we're at the spot where we're going to add in a file so we want to add in a file by pressing that green plus button and then we're going to go back to our desktop this is where i saved that file originally the update 2.rpf file this is where we're going to go ahead and update that information in our open iv so once that's uploaded or updated in open iv we can open up our update.rpf folder common data and then scroll down and you'll see your game config this is of course where we want to hit that green plus button again and we're going to update our game config through the desktop we're going to open up our game config folder pretty straightforward for less mods or for more mods we're going to go with for more mods and my personal opinion the 01x traffic and peds would be the best if you have a lot of mods in the game it's pretty much based on how many things you have in the game altogether. so with that being said after you go ahead and add in whatever game config works best for you that's when we can go ahead and turn off our edit mode Go back to our Grand Theft Auto folder, and then we can go ahead and start our game to see what our results are. All right, you guys, as y'all can see, we got our games back up and running just the way that we like to have it. If you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button so you can stay up to tune with the most updated Script Hook V videos and how you can get your games back just the way that you like it and happy holidays to everybody hope you all are safe and well and have a wonderful holiday and i'll catch you guys in the next video